Welcome back everyone to the Keller Arena here in Battle Creek, Michigan. We're having a great match here between the Iceman Mika Imanen playing Naoyuki Oi from Japan. Great match coming up here and with me in the booth here is the legend Mark White. Good evening everybody, how are you doing? Good, and myself, Tim de Ruiter. We'll be talking about this match for you guys. And Mika won the leg and a nice nice start break here. Makes two balls. Prime position on the one. Nothing to talk about. Yeah. One one zero Mika Rimmen. <laughs> yeah, well <laughs> if it only was that easy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good breaks one thing, but I'm really looking forward to this one, Tim. Two really attacking players, pretty quick as well. I don't think this is going to take very long. Even if it goes to a shootout, I don't think it will last more than an hour. Yeah, definitely no slow players here. And there's also a shot clock in effect. They're playing 30 second shot clock with both one extension each per rack. They're playing two races the four. And look and at that. Sorry, my sorry interrupt. Look yeah. at that positional shot there. Unbelievable shot. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, so <laughs> two races to four. Yes. And if they tie one each, they're going to a deciding shootout, which you've already seen a couple of today. And they're very exciting. Can't wait to see the, the new one happening here, possibly. But that's far, far away from here. Let's see. I must say, I was really pleased to see Torsten Holman win his shootout earlier on. He's had it pretty tough in shootouts of late, and it, it was good to see him win one. Really happy for him. Yeah, so... The rumour has been around that Nika has been playing a little bit more lately. I know for a fact that a couple months ago when he was also playing in Wisconsin, he was really like fired up he really wanted to get far again it yeah, always reminds me of Shane Van Boning this guy when he plays the same kind of cue action you know you watch his cue action Tim same sort of thing pretty quick couple of things back then up a little bit on the elbow and then down and through it always reminds me of SVB that good start yeah looking good here of course, had a good break and a good start, but it's always a little uncomfortable to get that first game on the board. I always say the first and the last game are the toughest, but it doesn't really look like Mika is struggling here to get that first game on the board. This 10 ball to take an early lead here in this opening set. Great start, can't get better than that. Break and run, very nice. And there's a few in the arena here tonight. The Kellogg Arena. And we've certainly been uh, fed a great feast of pool today and yesterday as well. Four days, of course, of competition culminating in the two semi-finals and the final on Saturday. Yeah, and just as referee John Lehman is wrecking the balls, I would like to thank our sponsors and partners, of course, to make this event happen. And this great tour, of course. I'd like to thank Seabirds Buried Supplies, Predator Q's, Q Sports International, and the US Pro Buried Series partners are Kumui, Alpha Coin, Jam Up Apparel, and Medaya Light. Thank you very much for supporting us. And here we're seeing Mick Eben and breaking from the center again. Same kind of break, makes it two in the side, six in the corner, one. Oh, look at this. The wow. one is on. The one is on. And, well, the three is on as well. Just that four looked like got in a pretty tough position there. But can't complain about the break here. Yeah. See, not easy to get on the four. It's not impossible, but he needs to be on the low side of the three so he can avoid running into the ten and the seven. He, he does have a small angle running towards the 10, but might be able to still draw his way out of trouble here. 
they can just land just in front of the side pocket that would be okay low left yeah beautifully played spun it up perfect on the four this is a good start for the ice man yeah this was definitely key shot to get on the four now he needs to give himself a nice angle to get to the other side for the seven in the same corner pocket as the five i guess still queuing a little bit over the eight just yeah. a little bit awkward isn't it Slid it in, no problem. Nicely played. Puff of the cheeks, deep breath. Well, that might not go in on Saturday. Yeah, stun left here to go always towards your next shot. And, oh, I haven't heard the shot clock beep yet. <laughs> I don't think you're going to. <laughs> no, I mean, by the looks of it. This will be the second break and run if you can make this 10 ball. And we've only ever had two guys run the whole set. <coughs> and I believe Mika Imminem was one of them, believe it or not. In it goes. 2-0. Now, there are some other games going on around the arena, guys. Tyler Steyer is in action as is Evan Lunder and Robbie Capito. We'll bring you the scores as they come in. Raymond Linares is up against Vitali Patsura. Aloysius Yap, Bader Alwahadi. Listen to some of these names. Pierce Labutis against Jason Shaw. Jason Shaw took the first rack in that one. Kang Lee is up against Fedor Gorst. Go on the Kangster. Amalia Matas against Emily Duddy. The billiard bombshell. And I just saw Jennifer Beretta as well. She's 2-2 with Lorraine Fox Raymond. So there, you're up to date. ProBilliardSeries.com for everything you need. And another big break for Mika, making the eight and the four on the side. The one and in the, the one corner, in the, the six in the corner. Where, <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, what a shame. He's just... He got the cue ball kiss, but look at this for... Oh, man, on a mission here. Now he has got a shot at the two ball. Does he take it on? Yeah, tough to get position on the three. Depends on how he feels. There's Did. your answer. Oh, and running into He's seven. feeling fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's a big shot there. Well, we're getting the fireworks at the start of this entertainment. It normally comes at the end. Yeah, it's a good angle on the three, can play a little draw with left, like this. Oh, doesn't want to get too far, Not, don't get too high. Yeah, you can see a little, a little disappointed there, wanted to be just a little closer so he wouldn't run into the ten. You can choose to play draw off the, oh, he oh wow. he's really feeling it, what a shot inside, <laughs> right hand <laughs> English there, drawing, look at this, absolutely perfect. The Iceman isn't melting under the pressure. He's, he's come here to put on a show, isn't he? Yeah, and it's, it's a treat to really watch him play like this. Nukioi is the only person in the arena not enjoying this. And he hasn't had to chalk his cue yet. Yeah, it's a very strong performance here by Mika Imanen. Brilliant, Three brilliant. He's on the hill already in this first set, and we'll go for a short break. We'll be right back.
we are back here at the Seabirds Michigan Open. Mika Eminen leading 3 to 0 in this first set. Break and run, break and run, break and run. Haven't even seen Mike Joy at the table. Mika Eminen to break here. Let's see what he can do. Well, Good there's the one ball going ball. on its way again. Anything in? No. No oh, ball. No Kioi. Chalk that cue. Oh, look at the three, though, come in. Oh, it's a bit of a result there. One ball. He's probably on for a combo. The one five. Yeah, he hasn't really hit this one the same as the other two breaks. Still not a bad break, but not that same huge pop on there. And also a little fortunate to not leave the one, as there's no one five combination. There isn't? No. It's not on, though. That's a shame. I've just spotted another great match out on table 10. Alison Fisher against Christina to catch. Yeah, a lot of great matches going on here in the Kellogg Arena in Michigan. Oh, he played safe behind the five ball and he was trying to open up the three. Clever. Very nice shot, just a little unfortunate to have the one and the three locked up together after. Very sensitive shot, play this very nice. So not easy to hit. Yes, sir. And he called it the corner pocket, this bottom corner pocket. Small gap though. Referee John Lehman there to see which ball he hit first. Well, oh, look at this. Look at the 10 ball. Oh, and still that 1 3 is still locked up, so not easy to go for it. I think he might have yeah, been trying to find the gap there, but. The 10's gone 100%. The 10's going here. We'll be calling the 10 in the corner. Oh, no, he won't. I'm no, sorry. No, look, no, I'm sorry. It looked completely different. I thought it was over the pocket. Yeah, but he has a bank, and then after he could play the carom, or if he gets straight on the... T oh! Wow. Wow, well, look it's at this for a mistake. Look at this for a mistake. Wow, that is a terrible shot. I'm sorry to say, that is a terrible shot. Oh, it also, it's left Mika Eminen. The perfect opportunity to close this set for nothing. We do play Pro Bid Series rules, so the early 10 balls do count, so... Mika Imanen wins his first set, 4-0 against Naoki Oi from Japan. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> I honestly thought after he got that great safety behind the five, Tim, from the one, that he was in control of this rack, and all of a sudden, he played yeah, a he really bad shot on that bank shot, didn't he? Well, I'm just really surprised he banked it too short. As even though if he would bank it too wide and it would go off the short rail, it would still go off the 10. Yeah. So he had such a big pocket to make the one. Yeah, not really expected him to miss it on that side. Here we see it again. He missed it on the short side. This was possibly the only way to miss it. And he knew as soon as he hit it. So set number two, you might wonder why he's breaking because he just lost that rack, but it was to win the set. And Mika broke the first set, so Mukioi will go first in the second. Yeah, and another big break here. Makes the eight in the side, the six in the corner, and perfect shape on the one with the two, three, four close to each other. Well, we said before we went on air that we think this is going to be a quick match. <laughs> and it That's why I'm talking so fast. <laughs> you know, i got to be quick. I can't get my breath. <laughs> Oh, not happy there. He got too short. Left himself a little angle to the left, which he was definitely not trying. He might still be okay to play a big draw shot, drawing the cue ball directly to the bottom rail and back out for the three in the same side pocket. Low, maybe a little left spin. He goes with his spin again. I don't really see anything else. Just looking at it. Not an easy shot. Really needs a good cue ball here. 
in. Is Naoki Oi put in the freezer yet? Or no? Exactly. Good how, shot. Exactly how you described it. During the break, Mika Imnum was actually putting some eye drops in his eyes, and he was telling me he's just got new contact lenses. Yeah, so little left spin here, just traveling automatically towards the five. Always leaving himself an angle, even though he would be shorter or longer, would always have a nice angle. Now I expect him to leave the cue ball exactly where the cue ball is right now. Just a little stun right. Leave him the same kind of angle. Because he could float two rails forward now. Short rail, long rail. Same thing, always going towards your next shot. He yeah, wants to hit just before the side pocket, doesn't he, Tim? <laughs> that would be perfect. Yeah, doesn't want to end up too high on the long rail because then... He gets an annoying angle to run into the 10. But you're always trying to avoid. Play this very nicely. Two very, very high quality players producing a very high quality match. And all you guys out there get to watch it free as we do. This 10 ball to take the first game in this match. But more important in this second set here. Noyoiki Oi showing us that he isn't that cold in this building. The Iceman didn't do his work well enough. And Oki okay, Oi, there sits Mika. Well, there's nothing this man hasn't won in the game. Player of the decade, of course, 2010, I believe. Yeah, world champion. Many in many different disciplines. Great straight pool player as well. From Finland. And there's some more talent coming up as we've seen. Riku Rumpanen is coming through the ranks, just 14 years old. So when Mika retires in maybe 30, 40 years' time, <laughs> could be could Riku be. can step into his shoes. So here we go. No cure breaking off rank number two. Set number two. Trailing by one. Okay, big break again. Two balls going short to the side. Maybe a little lucky with the oh. seven. No, and he's left. Great starter here for Mika. Yeah, and can get across over to this side rail for the two off of this. Really found a nice gap there as Great I didn't shot. really like to be on the long rail. I really like to have that cue ball a little bit out like he just played. And now he might not even try to go through the traffic again. He might use the bridge and just leave a, a path in between the 7 8. Just a little stun. Get that elbow up, Mika. Don't like that shot. Well, would have liked to be a little off the rail there. Seemed to quit on that one, Tim, with the with the rest. Watch this, just a little stab. Yeah, you can cheat the pocket a little bit. Just stop spin here. Oh, that's nicely played. Now then, another big draw shot. There's not many people can draw a shot better than Mika. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to play much draw here. Just draw back two diamonds, leave yourself a nice angle on the five ball. To, oh, he tried to cheat the pocket there and unexpected. Well, Nuki, Nuki a oh, just caught a fly, I think. Well, <laughs> oh, he was really banging that four ball to get off that long rail. <laughs> yeah, he's a path through here, look, isn't there? I think, yeah, it looks like it. Yes. I mean, big swing, one each or two oh. Mika in his chair, shaking his head. He knows he's made a big mistake there. Because the way he's been playing, 
Yeah, might have taken that four ball a little bit for granted there. Which is always the, the, the tricky part about being in that zone. You know, like you're feeling so confident or well, you just really don't think about anything that could go wrong. And then it, of course, happens. And this is a perfect shot from the five to the four. And here we see Noyuki going <laughs> off the rail, you. Get out of the way, Mika. And My Mika shot. <laughs> quite disappointed there. He knows that it was a big shot. Yeah, Tim mentioned perfect position. Look at that. Draw back, seven in the same pocket. Just another little draw shot here. We could even stop it for the top corner. Coming round to have a look. Where do I want that cue ball? Yeah, barely Oof. got there, almost bumped the seven ball, which probably would have worked out as well, but just to show you how much control he had on there. Yeah, I like the way he's played this as well, keeping it simple. And this, I'm, I mean, this is almost made in heaven to go for a shootout. These three balls, ooh, these three balls, two balls now to go on a 2-0 lead. And this is the way Paul should be played, in my opinion, Tim. Nice pace, you know, nice rhythm. Not too much thinking. Some real talent on show. And he shoots and makes his stand ball. 2-0 for Naoki Oi in the second set. And we'll go for a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. And so we are back after a short break. Michigan Open, Seabirds, Michigan Open. Now you can the break here, up 2-0 in the second set after losing 4-0 in the first set. Mika praying a little bit there in his chair to get another opportunity as he just missed the four ball in the last game. Let's see what he does in the break here. Another big break, makes a six. And Shot on the one. Where's the two? It's okay. This is looking good, Tim. A little more angle on that one ball than he wanted to. You could really see he got a little tense now. You could see his hand go. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could really see him. He's going, oi, oi, slow down. You can just go back and forth, though. Yeah, he back can where cut his this. hand is. Go back to where his hand is with the cue ball. Oh, and this was a little gamble. He took a little gamble. 
It's a pretty good shot, no? That left himself quite some angle on the two. I don't like it. He really wanted to be closer to the center of the table, at least. And there's a couple good safety opportunities here. Could play the opposite sides with the four and a five in between. Could also choose to get the two ball behind the 10 and the cue ball behind the eight, but that would be risky because early 10 balls are allowed in this Pro Period Series format. Could also bank the two ball over and draw the cue ball into the five, which is touchy but high reward. Yeah, and he played the opposite sides. Nice shot there, found the cover, and of course also the eight and the ten are blocking, kicking over the short rail. Yeah, kicking long. Nice speed oh, and oh, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. That's a great shot there. Oh, and this is lovely, Tim. Just a stroke on the three. Yeah, and that four ball does go in the bottom right corner, like we can see here. So that means if he can have the right speed on this three, he can cross over naturally for the four, and he does. Very nicely played, Beautiful. good speed control. Look at that, you couldn't put it better with your hand. Yeah, ball in hand shape for sure. And now it's just building up to that seven to the eight, 10 combination. Little draw shot here. Ooh, left himself a little more straight than I expected, but still okay. Now, can he get to the center of the table? Or does he have to draw yeah, back to the long rail and out? It's a go, though. And looks quite straight to me. He's got a slight angle, but not quite enough. So he's big draw shot here. Oh, oh he's miscued. Lifted his head visibly there. Head up. Moved on the shot. And like I said before, he's just missed the four in the last game, and yeah, played now across this it. This is ghastly. Or is he? What is he calling here? Yeah, doing some work now on the tip. He called. He might have, I think he called something in the side, so I expect him to call the nine in the side, but could also bank the seven two rails into the nine, and then in the pocket, like this. Oh. But look at the cue ball. A nice two-way shot there from Naoki Oi, gaining control in this game. Yeah, just one accurate kick here, though. Good call, Tim Dedoita. Wow. Oh, and not far off, but... Yeah, not far off doesn't count, right? Yep, not quite good enough. Doing some... Running repairs to the queue. So that means Mr. Oi only needs these four balls to get on the hill in the second set. And like I said, this is almost made to go hill, hill, uh, to go to a deciding shootout. I'm sorry. They, of course, play really close to each other. And Mika played a great first set. Now it's all Noiki Oi. Two rails running to the center of the table. Didn't get perfect on the nine, but still a makeable shot. Doesn't have to do much with the cue ball, just some draw. Get back to the center of the table. Or you can even go forward. And this 10 ball to go on the hill. Nayuki Oi. 
from Japan on the hill now. In it goes. Now, what do you think, Tim? Mika won 4 0 the first set. It's a good chance Nuki Oi can win the second one 4 0. And then how about we go 4 4 in the shootout? And then sudden death. That would just cap it off of what we thought was going to be a great match. Yeah, well, I mean, we already expected a close match here. But, yeah, when they go to a shootout, well, you always favor the player that wins the last set just because there's more momentum going on. But it's tough to say. Mika really showed his game in the first set, and so does Naoki in the second set. Played some quite some clever shots here and there. Here we have John Lehman wrecking the balls in a nice view of the Arcus two balls with a nice reflection from the Predator Arena lights. Naoki Oida break, had a couple really big breaks. Nice to see a lot of stuff happening. They both have broken exceptionally, haven't they, Tim? I think this is the best breaking I've seen. I mean, Jason Shaw broke great as well, but I think this is the best break and exhibition by two players at once, right? Well, this. Well, just as I say that, it's dry. Oh, it's just interesting to see because this break, I had a feeling he took a little bit, a little bit of speed off, like he. He didn't put that much into it as he did the last couple breaks. And under the gun now, Mika Imanen. What can he deliver? <coughs> well, one thing he could deliver is a comeback. Starting with this one, break and run the next two. Why don't we have a hill hill? <laughs> yeah, didn't fancy to go long rail, long rail on this and left himself some angle on the four, but he might be able to run into the 10 ball to either have the five ball in the top left or the top right corner pocket. No. Well, all you American fans watching, Tyler Steyer took the first set against Jeffrey Booner for zero. So a good start there. Jason Shaw also took the first set against Pius Labutis, your friend from Lithuania, 4-2. So it's still interesting to see what he plays on this six ball. If he goes forward, he does have that eight there. And he doesn't want to run too far. It doesn't go in the bottom left corner. Well, what about the ten ball combo? No, it's gone too far for that now as well. And I expect him to play the six. Oh, he's banking here. He's going all in. No safety behind the ten ball. He says, I'm, go I'm shooting here. Well, is that a mistake? And I think he's going to be behind the 10 himself here. Seven ball up on the middle of that top rail. Leave the cue ball where the seven is. Well, one thing is for sure. Naoki Oi is a pretty interesting player himself. He does sometimes shoot something different than you would expect. He could cut the seven ball in and go up and down. I love the way you saved me then. <laughs> I think he's kicking this from behind, is he? No, he banked. Yeah, he's going to bank it onto yeah, the... Bank it to the side. And get it behind the turn. Oh. Well, it's gone dangerously close to that corner pocket. Jump cube might come yeah. out here. He didn't really want to get that close to the corner. You could see a little yeah. hop. He was like, please go far from the corner. Because it does make it tough. And, well, he might be able to, to hit this. He doesn't have to be able to make it. He can cut it real thin and get it back safe. A lot of traffic, though, Tim. Just like this. No, doesn't want to scratch. Well. He's okay. Good shot. Yeah, let's Smart shot. And ex also the speed as he controlled both balls. Look at how close that Cuba got back to the short rail. This is very nice control. This is not easy at all on this new 
slick cloth. Did he call anything, or is he just going to play behind the eight ball with the cue ball? Oh, he's gone the other way. Well, that was Ooh. risky. That was very risky. Can't believe he played it that way. And look at this. The only saving grace may be the eight ball is slightly hampered, but just leave the cue ball in the centre of the table. Yeah, I don't expect him to do too much here. And Well, still a little air for the Iceman. This stem ball to close the gap a little bit. He stopped the bleeding. In it goes. Three to one for Noyoki Oi, but Mika Imanen refuses to give up. Christina Takach has just started her match against Alison Fisher and taking the first rack. Matches going on all over the place. Jennifer Beretta is firing on all cylinders at the moment. She's taken the first set 4-2 against Lonnie Fox Raymond and leads one in the second. Now there's another really great game. Karen Kaur is up against Chie Hue Chen, of course, Amber Chen, the Canadian Open champion, and they are level at 2-2. Great match. And Mighty Ripero has just taken the second set against Dawn Hopkins and they're in a shootout. Wow, what a break that is. Look at the one ball again. Ooh, is it going to drop? No, it isn't. three ball does. The ten ball as well. It's close. Now then. Oh. Well, he can get to the two here as well. <coughs> Look at the two ball getting kicked around. And he can slide around two rails for this. Yeah, I do like to go straight to that side rail. Oh, well, a little fortunate kiss, but. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> right hander as well, so. You can reach over, just mind that 10 ball with your shirt, Mika. Oh, no, he's okay. Yeah, left himself a good angle here. Probably just going to run this with a lot of right spin. In between the nine and the eight. Get off that rail, he wants it off the rail. And if he can just stop the cue ball here or just softly roll it in. Yeah, I like the way he's played that. Stun it in, keep that cue going through, Tim. No deceleration. And now a little draw to the other side of the seven. Oh, that's beautiful. And, and I'll from tell you here what. I expect him to play just three stop shots on the eight, nine, ten. I can hear a Mika imminent scream of come on if he goes on to win this match. But we're not there yet. He's only working here to go 3-2. Can he break and run? Two racks to take it. Two sets to nil. Or are we going to go to a shootout? Yeah, it Great. looks like he's feeling ready to still snap this set off. Closing the gap, the 3-2. to two. Yeah, Winner breaks, you know. And we'll go for a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.
and we are back to see which Michigan open tight match here tight set Be tight in this final match of the day three to two for Noyoki Oi but Mika has been breaking so well just look at this wow having the one in front of the corner and the two ball yes all about the two to the three and he just needs this to make it hill hill such an exciting match this has been Will it have the ultimate exciting ending? Either way, we are going to know within two racks. Or just this one. Or this one. <laughs> Certainly within, yeah. Oh, he's over in. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. This is no good. I think, can he still see it? Yeah, you can see a little edge of this, but maybe just hit this. Yeah, oh, I he thought could he could see it. it. Yeah, I thought he could. But I wasn't sure, but I thought he could. His body language showed me like he was not happy there, but. Oh, that was so tight, wasn't it? That definitely wiped his feet, and he's up for the next challenge. He's, he's having an angle running into the 10 ball. Yeah, but he can use the 10 to draw off, can't he? Look here. Draw off the 10 ball, just past the side pocket, a bit of low left. Yep. And he's there, look. Oh, a little oh, fast. He's gone over again. Does he have it? Well, well, he's got a shot. He's got a shot. It passes the eight ball. But does he have enough to get to the seven? Well, he's doubting if it goes. I think it just barely goes to the corner pocket, but. He cannot really go forward. If he wants to shoot this, he has to just stop the cue ball. Oh, what a great shot this is. Brilliant wow. shot from Mika Imanen. So close to it. Cheated. Still got run through. And cheated the pocket a little bit as well to get on the seven. Wow. Fabulous pull we're seeing here. This is absolutely fantastic. I don't want it to end, if I'm honest. But I'm pretty sure he's in a good position here. Just nine in the ten and... And we're having Hill Hill in this second set. Who did expect this after being down three to nothing? Well, I certainly didn't, Tim. And I'm pretty sure you didn't either. What a comeback. Oh, well, there we go. And he's going to be breaking for the match. I mean, he's been breaking exceptionally well. Here we see the replay. John Lehman here wrecking the Arcos two balls, the Predator Arcos two balls with the Predator arrow wreck for Mr. Mika Eman and the Iceman here in screen to break the balls. Big break, it's either going through to the next round or having to play a shootout to determine the winner. Great break again. Look at the cue ball. The seven goes in, the one goes in, and just absolutely perfect. Yeah, only thing you might have to worry about is that five ball as it stayed just as last track. It stayed just next to the ten ball. to be a little straight on this three. He's left himself an angle. So maybe a big draw. 
Going towards the long rail with low right. Go to the other long rail in between the four, uh, the nine and the ten. Low right here, like this. Oh, this is fantastic stuff. And does that five ball go to the bottom left corner? That's what I wonder. Mika wonders as well. I think it might, but it might be tight. Well, but that tells you it does, Tim. He's definitely playing for it, and. If he doesn't have the full pocket, then he can just stop the cue ball. He doesn't have to do much. It looks like he's straight. This is a winner's side match, so the loser of this one will go to the one lost side. Will it be that man on your screens there? All depends on the next four shots. Or five even. Four now. Will we get... The Iceman shriek of, come on. What do you reckon, Tim? Well, let's see what is happening here. He does have a little too much angle on the eight. You can always so play it in the, the corner if he doesn't want to come back for the side. Took a little more time on this. Knew this was a big shot and Needs it to go a little bit. Oh Would have been dear. really nice to be straight on the nine. And oh. well, I think he's still okay. If he plays stop spin, he can cross over to the other side of the ten. Ooh. Oh, he used all the pocket. Here it comes, this ten ball. To win, 4-0, 4-3. Oh. And it goes in. And Big we got the credit, come on. Great match there from Mika Eminen. Very good breaks. Very strong. A lot of run outs beaten. Noiki Oi 2 0 in sets. And this concludes day two here at the Seabirds Michigan Open. Thank you all for following and watching us today. And we'll be right back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thank you and good night.